What's happening, everybody? It's Vicious here, and we got Anubis back. He's back in action, and Thank he, God. yeah, it, he brought a topic to me, and I figured we'd go ahead and do a quarters episode on it since we're both up right now. Um, <laughs> it, it, yeah, we gotta go to work tonight. But um, as a matter of fact, when you see this, it might be uploaded, and we might be at work. But uh, I believe you wanted to talk about representation in video games and anime, and I'm guessing the effect it has on people. Um, the effect it has on people, and I want to talk about. Yeah, we'll just say the effect it has on people. That and the lack thereof, apparently. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you want to start it off and let them know? Yeah. Um,. As I was saying earlier, you know, right before we started this thing, mm -hmm. uh, I'm arguing with somebody in a uh, group that I follow on Facebook about representation, specifically Boruto. We were talking about uh, Choji and Chocho, and mm -hmm. this person was saying that they don't bring anything to the table in the series. Yeah. And I mean, I, I don't know how much of the show that you've watched. Um, but as not as much as I'd like to. I'm I I'm greatly enjoying Boruto. I mean, and Naruto. I liked it right up until um, the Sasuke retrieval arc, which I mean that mm. gave Choji his flowers right there. Like if it, if he hadn't have been there to stop whatever big boy's name was. I don't, I don't remember any of their names, but if he hadn't have been there for that first fight, that would have ended that whole mission right there. So, mm -hmm. number one, I'm gonna need you to get off my boy Choji's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, two, you know, in Boruto, with uh, Chocho and her mom being like the only two... Characters of color that are like in a main cast. Yeah, because uh, I, from I really don't village. know what to call them. Like they're they're supporting characters, but mm -hmm. they're in this weird position where they're not like super important, but they're more important than people know. And I'm saying that about Chocho because she's one, she's black, and two, she's a plus size character. Yeah, that knows about self love. Like they gave her a, a whole arc about. Um, about loving herself and you know trying to stay away from boys that just want to clap cheeks you know yeah so like, it wasn't like a big thing but like she got it and that's super important especially with black girls and especially especially with black girls with you know who are plus sized mm -hmm. i think you know and that's not me trying to be like pick me or nothing like that but i just you don't get a lot of that and anime in general one because it's not it's not japan anime's job to include black people you know they're in fucking japan <laughs> yeah for yeah. sure i just this person was saying that you know like they don't bring anything to the table and you know like i told them they literally bring soul food to the table <laughs> yeah uh well yeah i I, I agree, and there's like a, a festering group of people. You know, it's the it's the internet, man. You know, there's always going to be like some group of people that you know that they grew up around. You know, not having to. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of echo. Is that all right? Uh, anyway, okay. Well, um, there's always going to be a group of people that. Um, they grew up with different values and a lot of those values are just going to tend to you know flock towards racism you know what i mean right. and they're like that's there's nothing you could do about that it's just them and their little shut-in like tendencies like I, I would love to tell you that um you know it's changing but it doesn't seem like it's changing anytime soon um yeah, you see and, it all the time on the internet. People are talking about, oh, well, you know, why do they have to make this person color? Why do they have to make this one a girl? Blah, 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 blah. And my question is, why does it matter so fucking much, really? You well, know what I mean? See, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But, like, what hurts me more about this subject and another big reason why I wanted to discuss it in a quarters, like, the group that I'm in is for black anime nerds. 
Oh. That, that's the name of the group is Black Anime Nerds. Banned for anybody who's listening. But the person who made the post in the group is a black girl. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> so, like, yo, why are you being like uh, Candace Owens 2.0 here? But you know what I mean? Like, what's happening? Why? And, you know, like you said, it goes back to... Um, probably a more deeply rooted type of racism, you know, black or Euro people have been teaching literally everyone since apparently like the dawn of time, you know, like, Hey, if you don't look like this, you're fucking disgusting looking, you know? Yeah. And I've tried to explain this to people from it seems like almost every race, at least once in my life. But I, it's weird. How do you unteach something like that? If you like, if you don't get to your kids early enough, you know, like I've seen video, hell today even, there's a video. Um, I guess somebody was like baby, babysitting their friend's kid, a uh, little black girl. She's doing her hair and stuff, and out of nowhere, the little girl goes, you know, she's ugly, and the the babysitter is explaining to her, like, no, you're not ugly, don't say that, yada, yada, yada. If you don't catch that shit, you know, like, at that age, she couldn't have been, like, more than, like, four or five. She literally is just learning how to talk. Yeah. So, number one, how do you teach somebody so small, how do you indoctrinate them into thinking, you know, like, hey, I look ugly because of these features that, number one, I can't do anything about. Number two, somebody who's... <laughs> Like some TikToker says, somebody who can be defeated by UV rays. <laughs> they told me about, you know. Defeated uh, by UV rays. That's that's new. Man, it. I'm telling you, TikTok has been good for my soul when it comes to stuff like that. But like, yeah. how how do you teach them things like that? And then being the person to try and correct it, how do you? What does it take? Because I mean, like, I know how to do it, but. How do you, how much of that does it take, I'm trying to say, to get that person, that child, to finally feel comfortable in their skin? Like, luckily, I've never been, at least not that I remember, you know, like, I've never felt uncomfortable about my physical appearance, like, in any capacity. But yeah. I can't imagine somebody telling my kid, you know, like, hey, you're too dark or your hair is too natural you know like i don't want to say nappy or nothing because that it sounds too negative to me but yeah if, if any if anybody ever told my children you're like hey you're not white enough in essence you know like i i would be mad as i'm probably gonna fight them right well yeah also i'm pretty sure that's like something that you could like sue them for depending on the the setting you're in but um like if it's like school teachers doing that shit or something but yeah I, i'm picking up a lot of what you're laying down and yeah i, I i'm <laughs> like I, i've been uncomfortable a couple of times I, I used to live in a you know i'll just say i'll live in a city that was populated by a lot of white people and yeah. it was not you know it wasn't fun uh you know there's always constantly like you know things that like they're judging what you wear you know a bunch of could you imagine like, just a bunch of motherfuckers wearing flannel shirts or like skinny jeans and stuff like that and they just think oh well we're just on top of the world and that's not a diss towards white people it's just you know um you wear something like i at the time you know this is if this gives you any idea how old i am rock aware was pretty uh it was pretty tight you know yeah. Um, and I enjoy wearing rock aware. You put some rock aware on, they look at you like it's, it's it's crazy. But you know, it's because you know they don't have any representation of what like a a colored person would look like or what a colored person would like to wear. So right. of course they 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 just think it's odd. Which you know, if we're gonna bring it back to anime and get out of the real world a bit, um, yeah. Um, if you're talking about that chick from Boruto, yeah, I, I think that she serves uh, a purpose of representation and also like it's just in the story man why do people have to make things bigger than what they are it's it's something that the writer wanted to have in the story 
you know, it's good that he wanted to have it in the story. It's good that, you know, not the the entire cast isn't just like, you know, Japanese people and then Europeans or something like that, because that's a thing that happens a lot. And when a you lot. do get representation of any sort of person of color, it's normally like really off basis. And yeah. like, you, you know, just because you're a person of color does not mean you're the wildest person in the room, you know? Um, right. And I feel like you know, even in the same series, Killer B. Killer B was a little uh, nuts. You know, he's a rapping, he's a rapping ninja. Like that's cool. It's cool because you know a lot of people, um, not just even while wow, that was far, not just even like um, black people, but a lot of people of color, they really identify with hip hop and all of that. Um, so right. it's cool to have that, and it's cool that they made it so it's like it's okay. But you know, there's, there's just so many arguments. Like I don't know if there's a right way to do it you know um specifically but i think that the way naruto did it in the way that you know the characters uh that girl specifically and right. um what did you say her mom that girl specifically and her mom like being added to uh, the naruto universe and behaving just like the other kids is that's great um yeah. and having killer b is great um, I don't I don't know why another person of color would be like she adds nothing to the series. Like you said, that's like some conservative nonsense. Like, you know, who fucking cares? Nobody really cares what um the characters look like, the color of their skin at least. Like, boy. Like, could you imagine like being that um like that target audience, you know, like they, it's shown and it's meant for like twelve and thirteen year olds. And and that's not to say like they don't think about it like at all. You know, like at that age, you're kind of like in the beginning stages of, you know, everybody's kind of judgy wedgy or whatever. But I judgy mean, wedgy. that's not like the, that's not a big thing at that age. Not as big as it is for us now. Like we're talking about it, but. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of some examples of like other characters. Uh, My Hero Academia there's uh that that one dude he's a black superhero i don't remember his name though so you're talking about um rock lock yeah 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 Red, yeah really he cool does cool. really cool design and he's like the only yeah. black character on the show as far as i know oh no there's that one chick with the bunny ears um oh, yeah, Mirko. what's up Mirko. Mirko. yeah that's her name oh yeah um, well, well whatever yeah, she's on there, and um, I haven't. I've heard a lot of people like just praising um, My Hero Academia for that. I don't really necessarily look for the negative stuff, but the negative stuff is outpouring sometimes. Like sometimes the stuff people say is just shocking. You know? Yeah. It doesn't mean like why. Number one, why do you care this much? And two, if you're going to care this much, why are you being so negative about it? Right. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. But you know, people like that just aren't going to make sense. Um, and representation is great. I don't understand how having your child be exposed to like different cultures is such a bad thing, um, or just you in general. Um, I, like yeah. it makes a fucking difference if the character is black or not. Like maybe if she was saying that that girl you were talking about, she was saying that she could add more to the series than you know just be in a couple scenes because as far as i am and boruto like there's not a lot of scenes with that character you know um she had like an episode dedicated to her when everybody was getting brainwashed or whatever and that's about it yeah there's not a lot for many of the side characters actually and that might get even worse now that uh ishimoto is back to writing the series which that actually hurts. I'm so mad that they ended up doing that, but here we are, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, for for the small amount of time that she's been in this series, she's done great. All of all of the characters have. Let me say that. You know, she's not the only. She's probably like the only black character in the anime, but she's not the only. I want to. I don't know what word to use because ethnic Person doesn't of color. Quite, right. Huh. There's other darker slash tan characters, and I don't know if they're supposed to be Japanese or not. But she's not the only one who's not like Leaf Village. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I got so, you. That's another big point of contention is, um, you know, what character, like, I, I think that's something that could be expressed a bit better. What character is, um, like, what is their ethnicity? Like, just come out and say it. Um, there's yeah. a character on Guilty Gear. Um, her name is Ramlethal. And Ramlethal, it has tan skin. But it's widely regarded that she's white and she has white um and she has white alternate skins alternate colors on uh the latest version of guilty gear and a lot of people still think that's suspect including me i don't know why people pick a white version of a character that has tan skin um even if her hair doesn't have the textures of a prototypical like uh black person it doesn't mean that they're not of a different ethnicity you know and um, people cosplay as those characters and they don't get harassed when they cosplay as those characters because that's a thing for some reason um, you know people in fucking um, the anime and game communities like they love to criticize people who cosplay outside of their color I know a girl who cosplays uh, Deku from My Hero Academia she's black I don't know her specifically but I'm just saying she um cosplays as deku and she looks good in it but for some odd reason everybody loves huh people are shit on her for it yeah and it doesn't make any sense well (laughs) it's like you just said yeah and like you said earlier you know people like that just they don't make sense yeah and it's weird i've always found that weird too because like the definition of cosplay or, you know, the point of it is to dress as characters that you like. So, you know, like, black people tell white people all the time, like, hey, black face is bad. So, like, do, you, do they want us to white face before we cosplay? Like, is that allowed? Or why can't we just dress like the characters that we like? Like, yeah. we're supposed to do with cosplay. Yeah. That whole um, white face thing is, is bullshit anyway. Like, Listen, you know, blackface was like an actual fucking activity people uh, partook in, you know, to make fun of black people or like not put them, do their best to not put them in films and shit like that. That is completely different than like, even if Dave Chappelle was to do whiteface, like there's no history behind whiteface. Like it's a pair of whiteface. And I'm sure Dave Chappelle has done whiteface. And I'm sure that there are people who are upset about it, but Dave Chappelle, nobody's going to cancel Dave Chappelle. He's he's the Eminem of fucking comedy, okay? Get over it. it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Sure. I mean, he, he still says some questionable things, but I ain't going to hold him for it. It's whatever. But, um, yeah, anyway, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, so he... um. He, he he's done whiteface before, and I don't think like there's no racial or like history like behind that shit. It's just him acting, and it makes sense doing it um, within the context of comedy that way. Doing blackface doesn't make sense. It's never funny, and at least not to me. Like people get on to me because I don't I don't give a fuck about Tropic Thunder because of the blackface shit. Like. I know it's a movie. I know that it wasn't for the intention that, you know, people were saying it was for, but I still don't care, you know? Like, right. it's, it was like a white person doing, uh, dressing as a black person for entertainment. Like, that's what blackface is, like, like it or not. But anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm not getting a little um too deep into that. It, that, uh, that is a good example, you know, and... I think a lot of people miss the point if Robert Downey Jr. is the one who who did that whole bit. I yeah. think a lot of people did miss the point of that character. The point of that character was that hire more black actors to play these roles, you know, which, I mean, if it was super subliminal, so like if you didn't get it, cool, but people coming back you know, years later, like, hey, we we should cancel this movie or Robert Downey Jr. again. Like, I'm mean, it. That movie made sense for that character. You know, I. I don't want to say I'm proud of him for doing it. It was it was a good role. I liked it, 
I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to tell people to not like it. Um, you know, I understand. I don't have the best understanding of the movie because, again, I didn't watch the movie. But, you know, to me, I just... Anybody who, you know, didn't know about it beforehand or just like me, I, I started watching it and didn't stop. But, I mean, I, I could see somebody, black especially, you know, seeing, like, trailers and stuff for the movies and being like, that's Robert Downey Jr., why is he why is he in blackface? I'm not gonna watch this shit. I get it. You know, that's that's valid. Yeah, I mean it is what it is. But but I, I think overall, you know, bad segue, but I, I think overall that representation is something that is definitely needed and it makes people feel good about themselves. I don't have every example that I've ever seen in the world, but I know people who have kids, at least I've seen them on the internet, that have kids that are so stoked and happy that there are characters that look like them. You know, when Black Panther came out into theaters, regardless how you feel about Black Panther, and I don't really care about that movie that much, but uh, regardless how you feel about that movie, it reinvigorated people and made them feel good. It made them feel like they were um, much more... Uh, bigger than what they might have previously thought, and right. that's always a win. Right, Black you know? Panther and um, what was it? Into the Spider Verse both yeah. were pretty big films. Yeah, and, and and just imagine that for like more than just black people because um, we oh, Shang Chi. You know, people love Shang Chi for that reason. Yeah, and I haven't watched that, but you know, I've been watching a lot of. Um, Asian dramas lately, so you know you're gonna have to forgive me for that. I'm not a Marvel guy. I'm a fuck. I landed on mine. I'm not a Marvel guy. I'm a fucking watch K-pop guy because I'm a hipster. You know what I'm saying? So you can suck it if you disagree. Whatever. But, um, yeah. Yep. Well, I think that about wraps it up, right? Uh, Unless you have more to say. Um. I might do. We might touch up on it again eventually when somebody else makes me question my sanity. But I mean, I think I'm good for now. Okay. I'm just glad uh, we can find the pot again because, whew, I you know I didn't mean to be gone this long. Just stuff won't quit happening. So that's my bad. Yeah, I mean it is what it is. Unless you at least you're not bullshitting like Corey is with his fucking ten jobs having ass. I hope he hears us. <laughs> but yeah I think that does it for now man we will uh, catch you guys as soon as we can I guess I don't know yep, yep later <laughs>